five times in the section of the New Testament that we call the epistles, is it stated that the faithful should greet one another with a holy kiss. It's for this reason that one of the most persistent, common, and, and beautiful traditions of the liturgical experience is the kiss of peace, a tremendous amount of historical evidence and the prominent place which it plays in our own divine liturgy testify to the fact that the kiss of peace is and always has been a very important and meaningful moment during the divine liturgy. The choir sings the hymn, Christos I Mech, Christ is in our midst. The sensing deacon receives the blessing from the celebrant, descends from the holy altar, and then whether to another clergyman or to lay people passes on that blessing, then returns to the holy altar, where then the priest is commended to turn around and to offer a general blessing to the congregation. But he proclaims, which means greet one another with a holy kiss. The same words that are used five times in the books of the epistles in the New Testament. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Christ has been revealed amongst us. Blessed is the revelation of Christ. And at that point, whether the clergymen or the lay people there are present at the front of the church, they will turn to the congregation and begin to pass along this message, this blessed message of Christ's revelation in our midst. And so the custom is at this point, which is one of the most engaging practices in the experience of the divine liturgy, is for the people to receive this kiss. That is to say that they approach the left and right side of the person who is giving it to them and proclaim to one another, Christ is revealed amongst us. Blessed is the revelation of Christ. As much as this is a beautiful tradition, it can also be nerve wracking for some participants of the divine liturgy who've never learned the exchange that takes place. And so they will sometimes withdraw or avoid participation. This is highly discouraged. Even if you don't know what to say, it's important that the divine liturgy be experienced communally by all of those who are gathered in the sanctuary at that point in time. We may be individuals, whether we've come alone with friends or with family, and we may feel more comfortable to remain distinct in those ways, but we as a group, as a congregation in that sanctuary, in that moment, are all experiencing something together. Just as if you were to attend dinner at somebody's house, it would be impolite for you to remain isolated and separate from everybody else who was there. So too, all of the people present in the sanctuary at that time are sharing something which is remarkable and special, which unites us. So it's important, even if you feel uncomfortable, to be a part of this. And even if you don't know what to say, it's okay to remain silent, but still to be part of that interaction. However, we encourage you to learn these words because they're not so hard to learn, whether in English or Armenian, whatever you're comfortable with. And they're important for us to remember because it's in that moment when we have to be reminded that Christ is truly in our midst, that this is a remarkable moment and can't go by unappreciated. Christos image mer heit netzap or nyale heit nutun in Christosi. Christ is revealed amongst us. Blessed is the revelation of Christ.